Hey guys, so I am back with another video and today I wanted to um, do a video of answering all the questions that I got from my Georgia State video. Um, I answered all of them, I believe. It was a nice handful of questions, but not too, too many, but I just wanted to make a video of the questions that I got and my response to them in case, you know, anybody just wants to know. So, um, let me see. I'm going to go to them now. Let's see. Okay, so the first question that I got was when you attend Georgia State Perimeter College, do you do two years there to earn your associates, then two years at Georgia State University to earn your bachelor's? Um, so uh my like response to it was yes, you know, you um Okay, so, so yes, yeah, so you can get your associates at Georgia State Perimeter College and then transfer to any four-year college, but you can transfer to Georgia State and um, get your bachelor's degree with them. Uh, it takes, depending on your major, because I know, like, I had a few friends that were doing nursing and the classes and criteria kept changing up so it kind of held them longer um, at the perimeter campus excuse me at the perimeter campus um, so it can be like uh, it can be like two years it could be like three years you know it can take some time depending on your major and depending on your uh, class schedule if you're full-time part-time if you do a summer classes as well you know that helps but um I just want to say I got my hair done I just got it done today y'all like period anywho so uh so yeah so you can y'all have to excuse me these text messages I'm getting but um yeah you can um you can do it just like that let's see so uh someone just said that they want to go but they're deciding on which campus to go to uh georgia state perimeter and if y'all hear noise like excuse it it's just these ghetto neighbors but um let me see what all campuses there's newton there's clarkson decatur alpharetta uh, there's one more. I want to say Dunwoody. I want to say, but let me double check. Uh, no, not clear that out. TSU perimeter Dunwoody up. Perimeter. Yep. So there's Clarkston, New N. Dunwoody, Alpharetta, Clarkson, Newton, Decatur, Newton, Alpharetta. Yep. So, just five campuses, and then you have your main campus. So, uh, you can go to any one. You can honestly, like, you can go to the Decatur campus for one day of classes or a class or whatever and you can drive over to the Clarkson campus and do other classes whatever like with that like you you have room to kind of travel and drive around if you want and then if one one campus doesn't offer uh, a class for you then you can go somewhere else and you know if this campus offers classes then you know you just got to work out your uh, travel schedule and your time and everything so you get to your class on time um, Let's see that's from another video okay so uh, another person said I'm from South Africa and I just got accepted into GSU Perimeter College but I don't know if I should take the opportunity I always say this always when it comes to pursuing a college degree Go to a community college first to knock out all your core classes. And if there's any like major classes that you can take to help 
you know, so that you don't have to take them when you transition to whatever school you want to go to after that to get your bachelor's. Like, do it. Like, it's cheaper and it's less stressful because the classes are smaller. So, you know, I, I'd say do that. I always say, like, do it. Like, it doesn't have to be Georgia State, but do, like, a community college, a small campus or something. Um, and then, too, like, I know for me, like, with Georgia State Perimeter, I was getting refund checks. So, you know, and that's always good because that's your money. You don't have to pay back. Um, so, yeah, so always take the opportunity if you get accepted into a smaller school because it makes more sense to spend less money at a smaller school than spend more money at a bigger school for no reason for the same classes, you know? Um, so yeah, but I will say like whatever school, if you want to do Georgia State Perimeter and they transition to another school outside of Georgia State, make sure that the credits line up before like, you know, I guess going, um, because not everything will transfer over depending on the type of school it is. So, um, GPA requirement, somebody said what's the GPA requirement, um, it's a 2.0. 2.0 GPA requirement to get in, 2.0 at least to transition out to Georgia State, the um, main campus. So that's that. Um, he asked the same question. What's the requirement for Clarkson campus? They're all the same. They're all the same. Um, someone said, someone else said, I think her name was Amina, um, says, hey girl, just got accepted into Georgia State Perimeter. I'm from Cali. Can I get a dorm on the big campus and still attend or no? Which campus do you prefer? So the answer to that is, well, congratulations. Congratulations to you and, um, and I want to say, I'm going to say Sandy. Uh, I don't want to pronounce your name wrong. Um, but the one who said that she's from South Africa, she just got accepted. Congratulations to you as well. Um, so yeah, okay, so back to Amina's question. Um, so the answer to that is no. You can't stay in a dorm and go to the perimeter campus. Um, they don't unfortunately work like that. And all the dorms are like downtown. They don't have, now I will say like the Clarkston campus is big enough to where it could have like at least two buildings for anybody who wants to have like, who just wants to move out or they could have like an apartment or something like close or like maybe on base in a sense. Um, Cause it, that, that is a huge, it's like, I think it's the second biggest from um, the downtown campus. But uh, yeah, so, but Unfortunately, no, they don't have that option. So you will have to either um, find an apartment or roommate or, you know, just stay at home or live with family or whatever and just commute back and forth for class. Um, and she asked which question, which question, which campus do I prefer? I prefer the Decatur campus. Because I actually made, like, friends. I guess you could say, like, I don't really speak to people like that now, like that. But, like, it was a, a better experience, I guess you could say. Because, y'all know, I started at the Newton campus. And it was cool. Like, I already had my friends from high school. Like, so, it was cool. Um, classes were good. Like, I can't complain about anything. Everything was good. It was good vibes and stuff. But, um... It was more diverse, I guess you could say as well, but um, the Decatur campus felt more like home. So, um, yeah, and I don't know, but Newton, Newton campus had really great teachers, but if you don't live anywhere towards like the eastern side of Metro Atlanta, um, I wouldn't say like drive all the way down to Newton. Um, and I have not been to any other campuses for classes so i do not know but um if you want a bigger feel i would say clarkson is probably your best bet um 
but I haven't seen like what the other campuses look like in person how big they are but I just know Clarkson is like huge so um let's see um Janelle said hi which campus did you attend I attended the Newton campus and then I transferred over to the Decatur campus and finished out technically didn't like transfer when you sign up for classes you just pick which campus you want to attend out of all five and I said I wanted to attend the Decatur campus and pick my classes um Talia says is it mandatory to go to Georgia State after completing your associates at Perimeter College no it is not mandatory it is optional um, if you do transfer you just tr fill out this form um, that they give you or that your advisor gives you um, and then they'll get back to you probably like within a week week or two let you know hey you're accepted whatever like you, you kind of automatically get accepted um, but no you do not so you can do go there you can go to Clark Atlanta you can go there you can go to fam you you can you know what I'm saying so yeah it's not mentoring uh, G so clean <laughs> said how long does it take to get accepted when I first was transferring to Georgia State like their admissions was so slow that I missed the whole like deadlines to register for classes and everything because they were just slow so I had to go back to my other school that I was that I was going to to do another semester so I wouldn't fall fall behind and then make sure that they stayed on top of everything with Georgia State so I could register for classes I think that next fall um because I don't know if I started out doing summer classes with them or not but I was like y'all need to <laughs> be a little quicker than that okay people are like trying to go to school like Come on now, but they just slow. So, I don't know. I would say, like, as soon as you make your decision, like, apply. If you want to apply, like, apply. Start the process at least, like, three months ahead of time. Like, I'm, like, for real. Like, because they, sometimes they can be slow depending on who's in admissions and which campus you go to. Um, but always follow up. Um, someone else said, uh, Maria said, what are classes like at Perimeter? Do they teach the material during and class? Or do you have to do some readings and prepare beforehand? So the classes, it honestly just depends on your professor. It honestly depends because um, I had a professor, my accounting professor, she was my accounting and business professor, but um, when it came to accounting, like we did, we did everything that we needed to do in class for the most part, even like homework, we would knock, we would try to knock everything out in class so that, you know, we can go home and not have to worry about anything. And um, yeah, she taught us like what we needed to know. Um, other classes like sometimes you will have to read depending on like some like of those social study like history type classes you'll have to read a little bit and then go from there but it just honestly depends on who your professor is but if they you'll know if you okay you'll know if you need to do readings beforehand when you get to class and they're like talking about the book and like doing stuff in the book and like uh going over chapters and stuff but i think they'll tell you to like make sure you read i had a teacher that was like that but it depends um but it's always good to try to prepare yourself but nobody ever does we just go to class and just follow instructions um uh, someone said, do you have to get the associates first before transferring or can you transfer to the Atlantic campus immediately? What was my response to that? Um, oh, okay. Well, my response was because I, I, I kind of honestly don't know, but uh, I told him a great question. I honestly, I'm honestly not sure. So, um, mm, 
I said I was going to reach out to my former advisor and ask them. Um, I never got the chance to do that. So, Isaac, I am sorry. Um, I haven't been in communications with any of my former advisors since I transferred out. Um, so, yeah. But, uh, to my understanding, like... I don't think you can because, uh, but I don't know, like you, you probably could. Excuse me. You probably could um, start your classes and then like transfer downtown. But you, I think you would just need to make sure that you meet those requirements. But I think in order to even transfer, transfer downtown, you have to have a certain amount of credit hours with the uh, two-year campus to go to the four-year campus, to my understanding. So, um, cause it's all the same school. So they'll probably have like certain requirements. So it's just probably probably best to just finish out with your associates there and then um, transfer downtown. But it's not no different. Like, it's just, you're still a student. You can, the only thing that, that doesn't come with it is dorms and a uh, meal plan. You can do everything else. You can go to the gym, downtown. You can go to any of the campuses for their gyms. All the activities and stuff, like, you are still able to be involved. Now, you can't do, like, Greek life and stuff because you have to be at the Atlantic campus. But, like, um, I think some clubs allow you to still, like, be a part of whatever, you know. So, but it's not no different, really, like. Whenever there's an event downtown or at the main campus, just go. Because you're still a student. So, um, yeah. Um, so, is Perimeter a community college or is it just a regular college through Georgia State University? Both. It's, it's a community college through Georgia State. It used to be um, Piedmont Perimeter. And then Georgia State bought them like around the time of like 2015. Was it 2015? I don't know. Because Piedmont was around for a while. Because they used to advertise in the school. Because they was close to us. Um, so yeah. But it's a community college. That's under Georgia State. Um, so. Uh, someone said. Uh, hey I know it depends. But I plan on attending Alpharetta. How much is a single semester? Just trying to get a guess on an estimate. Is it crazy expensive? Basically what I'm asking. No, it's not crazy expensive. Um, of course, things depend on your FAFSA and like your parents' information, which is dumb. Like, I don't know why you're asking for my parents' information when I'm the one paying for everything. Like, it's crazy. But um, it, unless you're married or whatever or over 26, um... It just depends on uh, your parents' information on how much your reward is. But uh, with, when it comes to, like, how much you'll get for your financial aid to pay for school. But uh, it's not expensive. Honestly, it's not. Uh, like I said, I got refund checks. So, and it was, like, around a 1000 or a little over a 1000 whatever. So, and that was, like, each semester. So, I just got free money out of nowhere. But, um, yeah, uh, what was I going to say to that? Yeah, but I would say, like, a single semester, depending on how many classes you take, like, if you're part-time doing, like, maybe three classes or so, like, it could cost around, like, $1,000. If you're full time, it could cost maybe between fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars, and it just depends on how many classes you really take. Because the more classes you add, the more it's going to cost. The less classes you have, the less it's going to cost. So, um, it just depends. And this is the last question: um, If you get accepted to one of the perimeter colleges, do you have access to do things on GSU main campus like? the library library or cafe yep cafe i don't know 
because I never went to the cafe, but there's a Chick-fil-A on campus and I go when I am down there. Um, cafe, I'm not too sure because I'm pretty sure you would need like a meal card or something, but I think you can go and you just have to like pay for your food, which I'm probably sure it's not that much, but I've never tried it. Um, but you do have access to everything. The gym, library, student center, um, the movie center, cinema little place that's in there, uh, rec center if I didn't say that already, the football games, uh, all that stuff and whatever. You just can't participate in like the sports downtown, Greek life, certain clubs and stuff, but when there's like the block parties and homecoming and all that stuff, like you can definitely participate. So, um, yeah, that was my last question. So, uh, I just wanted to put that out there for anybody that watched that video and was like, I got questions and then, hey, come to this video. So, um, yeah, but feel free to y'all keep asking questions and y'all subscribe to me because that video was getting some views and I'm like, y'all could just, just hit the subscribe button. That's it. Just hit it one time that's it <laughs> but um yeah so i hope that answers people's questions about georgia state perimeter um i went to the downtown campus for a little bit during the whole covid thing online um don't really like how the professors are and just other students it's just not a good mix so i'm trying to find somewhere else to go uh because other school i was transferring to it's just with them, like, I'm not receiving no financial aid, and that's a prop. Because I'm not paying for school. I'm not paying. When I haven't paid this far, and I got one more year left. So, um, yeah. But, that is it. That is all. So, thank y'all so much for watching. Please subscribe, y'all. Please. I got 47. Okay. Give me 200. And then we just gonna keep going from there. <laughs> But uh, thank y'all so much. And like I said, like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, let me know if you got more questions, and I'll be happy to answer them. Um, if I say I'm going to reach out to somebody to get some answers, make sure y'all, hey, hit me up again if I don't respond to you within, like, two to three days or so with an answer because I want to help y'all. Um, so, yeah, but y'all be blessed. Y'all be easy. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.